Hi guys and welcome along to today's video. So I've had a few people write into me lately that they're having problems with these little critters here, yeah, the radiator valve, you know the one. And seems they can turn the thermostatic end okay, that's no problem. But the one on the other end, this one, which we call the lock shield, some even have turn valves fitting on them, but whatever you've got, it's not being able to get to turn it underneath, it's because you can't actually get the top off, that's this cap and how do I get that off it's stuck solid now when these are new you can just pull them off like this and reveal the valve head underneath but some of the older ones as well I've got this head on and this one has got a screw in it and that can be the problem let's see if we can get that focused up there for you there you go so that is a hassle because the screw rounds off and all sorts of things like that happen and you can't get the top off you may just want to alter that balance on that radiator by being able to turn this a, a touch more to the left or right or you indeed just turn the whole radiator off because you want to take the rad off the wall but you can't even begin when you can't get past the first hurdle which is simply removing the cap so let's let's have a look into it a bit further so we can sort this one out for you here we have then a radiator valve this is the type of thing it's one that turns it's round and round because it's a lock shield doesn't actually turn anything so we want to get it off but it's stuck it won't pull off I, I can actually pull this off but I want to show you the way I'd get it off one is to get a screwdriver like this fairly hefty wide blade one if you could and what you do is don't try and go like this because you won't get it off what you've got to do is get it under a chrome piece at the back and if you can see that there just under that so you use the nut as a bit of leverage and then pop it off like that See that? And away it comes. Fairly simple. It's a method I've always used when I've had a stuck top. And I say, let's get the camera in again. Let's sit under there like that. Let's get the camera right in. And as you can see, there it is. And just twist and it will pop off. So, how about when you come up to this type of thing? The top broken off, snapped away. It's old, it's screwed in and it's got a posi type screw in it in this particular one I've tried it already, it won't come out the first thing to try of course is this stuff spray this on there quick jet and hopefully it will go Okay, I have already done this one, it's not going to go so, how do we get this one off? well, the top's already busted and sometimes you find you've got to cut through a top to get it off so, the only way is to do that with one of these, a junior saw, this thing here, and we're going to cut through it like so, through the cut, and make our own cut so that we can put the screwdriver in and undo it. Once that's off, we can get a replacement cap virtually anywhere. There's lots of replacements for the tops of these that will fit. So, what to do? Cut this, don't cut your finger, get a cut through there, get nice and slowly, get a start on it and then start cutting away we go, we've got to start now cut it through, it doesn't matter how deep we go in a sense not too far but deep enough to get a screwdriver into Just steadily go at it and get the cut and slot in the middle as you can see it's starting to go through there now we're almost ready to give it a try go a little bit deeper I think Right, when you think it's deep enough, this is the type of screwdriver, want a nice thin blade, okay, because the cut's not going to be very wide that you put in there with that saw, so a nice thin blade to slot into your saw cut there and make a good fit. You've got to push down pretty hard to get it to go, so let's see if we've got any joy there yet, and yes we have, there we have it, out comes the screw success a little old trick I've used for years on old rad valves like so to get them off and there we have it off and we can now fit our new top as this, this is a lock shield end I'm just going to put one of these caps which is a lock shield cap over it like that and job done there you go then just a, a little tip on getting these tops off of these radiator valves which you really do need to get off or you can do any work whatsoever don't we and sometimes isn't it a way that you always fall foul at the very first hurdle you go to do a job and find hang on a minute i can't get the top off and no one's done a video on getting the top off a radiator valve uh, what do i do now 
I know for us plumbers out there and DIY handymen have been going around for years doing this sort of thing, it's a nothing job to us, we don't even think about it, but I do know for a lot of you people out there turning your first hand at doing a bit of plumbing, you hit this and suddenly you've hit the first hurdle and it tends to make you want to give up, doesn't it, when you can't even get past the first thing. I know I've felt that before in plenty of times in the past, so I do sympathise, which is what made me realise I need to do a video, just a simple one like this. Get over the first hurdle and then you're away into sorting the job out easily and quickly. Okay, that's about it then. All my stuff, you know, Derek from 33. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.